No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my boys too. Weekend observations brought to you by X Chair. Your body and your work deserve the best office chair in the world. Trade up to X Chair. Only at xchairdlb.com. Dan, after a three week vacation, most of which was spent three blocks from this studio. But with the summer officially ending, combined with being armed with week two of the college football season, opening week of the NFL, and a cat hanging on for dear life at a Marlins game. Make no mistake about it. Dan, you are back. Wow, that's the first time I've gotten the the high. That's the highest honor, being back. Isn't <laughs> it was also it? a Hurricanes game, not a Marlins game. Uh, sorry about that. Jim Harbaugh, congratulations on beating the team that lost to Montana. Slow people look fast if they are wearing an Oregon uniform. The Ducks. Everyone looks fast in those That's uniforms. True. That's true. Put it yeah. on the poll, Guillermo, at Lebetard Show. Does everyone look fast in those Oregon uniforms, including Mario Cristobal? Speaking of, Mario Cristobal should be coaching the University of Miami. The M in Mario should stand for Miami. Dan, do you know what the B in Cristobal stands for? I do not. A buyout that Miami Hurricanes cannot afford. Fox College football crew. Ever heard of social distancing? Did you see them over the weekend? They were in each other's face, man. It was dangerous. I mean, the stadiums were falling. Yeah, I know. We, but just, I know. we just basically said, ah, eh, whatever. The, the virus. ACC network crew is also on top of each other. EJ Manuel <laughs> is experiencing trauma on Mark Rick's shoulders. Why, why does Fox have the smallest desk of any studio show? Like, could they not just opt for a bigger desk? <laughs> SVP's desk is right up there. I mean, actually, that desk, Billy, is really, really big. There was no excuse for Damian Woody being right in his face. The Football other man, he was ready. He was excited <laughs> to be back. I mean, the game day desk is like 20 yards long. Yeah. Billy has the biggest desk. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Weber says the Michigan AD apologized. The Michigan AD says he never apologized. <laughs> you know what that means, Dan? I don't. It means something just doesn't add up. Ah, that is what it means. It also means the truth lies somewhere in the middle. Oh, wow. It means both things. Yep. C Webb. Cristiano Ronaldo, like riding a bike. CR7. Ryan Day. Urban Meyer. You are not Bob Stoops, Urban Meyer. You are not Urban Meyer, Doug Marone. You are not beating army at home on September 11th might be the most difficult thing to do in sports. Uh, seriously. Good luck beating that team. September. <laughs> Even if you beat them, you lose. That's true. <laughs> that, is, that, is no, right. that is absolutely true. Thank you for your service. Stash this one away. In the something to ponder file, how come the Marines don't have a football team? Hmm? <laughs> ponder it. Okay. My top five <laughs> college football rankings after the September 11th weekend. You ready, Dan? <laughs> here we go. All right, here we go. Number one, Army. Starting at number one? Yeah, why, why, why don't you start with number five? All right, number five. The Coast Guard. Did you forget how to do a top five list? Dan, you know I like to go one up to five. That's no, the way I, no, I do it. That's not that. No, right. you, you forgot how to do a top in your number week, three in your Navy. Number four. The Marines are part of the Navy. The Marines. I have finally. And number two. The Air Force Academy. The Falcons. How about that? The Marines are part of the Navy? I'm not certain that's correct. Have you never watched NCIS, Dugats? No. 
How did you forget how to do a top five list? Well, I like to go one up to five. That's not I, true. I, listen, I do my top five the way I want to do it. You do yours the way you'd like to do it, all right? I like to go one, five, three, four, two. I, you can keep making jokes, but it's a legitimate question. How do you forget? It came how to out the wrong way. It just did. It went one through five. I don't know. I can't I, listen. It's the gods. That's how. Did you ever watch Jag? No. Oh, so you were a Jag off guy. Watch out for Pitt. <laughs> what? The Panthers. Oregon running back. CJ Verdell. Welcome to the conversation. The O in Ohio State stands for oh no. There is no one I'd rather have calling a track meet than Gus Johnson. Guy is so good. Even while wearing street clothes, the most impressive looking player on any field this past Saturday was Kayvon Thibodeau. Thibs, that guy's gonna be playing on Sundays. I fell in love with or you can tell the game I watched over the weekend, right? It was Oregon, Ohio State. <laughs> I keep referencing that game. Gus Johnson made Penn State, Wisconsin sound exciting. He's amazing. He had a real game this Saturday. He really is. Calling a passing play on third and three. Late. On the road. At Ohio State. Trying to steal the game and seal the game when you are averaging seven yards per carry. You know what the C in crystal ball stands for? Hutzpah. <laughs> wow, I would not have had that as It's word. an odd one to go with, yeah, right? I what would you have gone I, with, I, Dan? I, 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 I would have gone for cojones there. I, I, I was thinking about I, it. I, I yeah. did not think that hutzpah. I would have yeah. never guessed. If you'd given me a thousand <laughs> guesses, I would not have guessed. Tariq it's Cohen. The holiday season. Yeah, exactly. Tariq Cohen. Juju Smith-Schuster and Anthony Schwartz. <laughs> Have an easy fast, my friends. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? <laughs> <laughs> I did Schwartz not. I, there are not a lot of Schwartzes I've seen look like that. Notre Dame, Texas A&M played a little game I like to call survive and advance. Did you see that 10-7 Colorado game against uh, Texas A&M? Wasn't Texas Defensive A&M like battle. a 20-point favorite? I don't understand how that happens. How, I thought Texas, didn't they give just, Fisher's now making more than anybody but Saban, right? I think so, yeah. No one can make more than Saban. That's, that's accurate, correct? Clemson, do it in a big game. Kirk Ferentz, blah, blah, blah. What's it, what? Ferentz. Kirk Ferentz, whatever. I don't care. Here we go again. He's ranked fifth in the country. I was good. He's the greatest coach in the history of college football, yet he never wins anything. They'll finish outside the top 25. Book it. The Texans are better without Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller V, and J.J. Watt. <laughs> Carlos Hyde is a Jaguar. Sam Darnold can scoot. No. Danny Amendola is a Texan. The most athletic looking player on the Jets yesterday was their punter. I hate them. He was also their backup punter. Did you see him? Amendola was his name, actually. He's got guns, man. No Speaking of special teamers, did you see the USC kicker that got ejected for targeting? First play of the First game. First play of the game. Incredible. What? Really? Stuck his head in there. Mm. Kickers should be able to target. Put on the poll, Guillermo, at right. Levitard Show. Is it okay? Should we allow kickers to target? Mm -hmm. The 49ers have an embarrassment of riches. I think about trading Trey Lance, Josh Allen, one year wonder. Kyle Shanahan honestly doesn't care who his running back is. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Just run his plays and you'll be good at running back. It's amazing. Breaking news. I'm no longer friends with Adam Gase. Urban Meyer. It was true of his father, too, was it not? Like, it wasn't basically the Shanahan family. It does not matter who you're running back. Fantasy with. nightmares. Yeah. With, with those two coaches. I guess you're right. It was true of his father. Yeah. It's both, that was, Davis, it was hand yeah. me down. The ability it did not. Well, it was Olandis Gary. It was like they put a th they put anybody in there and they would be able to run the ball like that's How is it on another family doesn't know how to do that? Why is it only one family? <laughs> They're keeping the secret in-house, Dan. Home, homemade recipe. Yep. 
Urban Meyer, welcome to the NFL. Alabama wide receivers are everywhere, except in Tennessee. Julio Jones should give his number back to A.J. Brown. Soon, the entire league is just going to be guys who played at Alabama. That's what it feels like. It's really starting to feel like that. There are Alabama <laughs> players on every NFL football Stugantz. field, and they're productive. Stugantz. It's crazy. 80 wins I'm giving to Saban right now after the coffins <laughs> in the ground. I mean, that's unfair to the coach. The one no, living. I'm telling I mean, you, I think I'm underestimating. I'm telling you that what, what that's never been before. Right. The, all Everything that's happening there, the, the collection of talent, it, I don't know how it dissipates. Congratulations to the Jets, who are the first team in NFL history to go 1,000 straight games and never have three timeouts with under two minutes remaining. The full compliment. The Saints are better without Drew Brees. The Dolphin quarterback is looking slightly more comfortable in year two. Of. We might never see Damian Harris again. Please tell me Aaron Rodgers is tanking. There was a busted sewage pipe at FedEx Field, but enough about Washington's offense. Meanwhile, Brady has the Falcons at home in week two with 10 days off. That guy. Oh, seriously. I'll run the table, that team. Dan, sports came at me so fast over the weekend that at one point, I thought my face was on fire. Our Bryles knows what that feels like. He's <laughs> always surrounded by flames because he lives in hell. Dan, those are the weekend observations. <laughs>